Hello everyone! Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making music in here and we're not going to be using our traditional instruments. We're going to be using something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to make music using glasses, specifically wine glasses, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's jump in. All right, so first you need to take a wine glass and you did ask your parents for permission, right? I don't want anyone getting in trouble and breaking wine glasses, so make sure you have permission and make sure you are being safe. Okay. You're going to need to get your finger a little wet. I like having another glass with some water in it nearby to just continually <clears throat> dip my finger into to get it wet. And then we're going to take this hand, hold the bottom of the glass securely, and take our wet finger and run it around the rim. Don't use too much pressure, otherwise it won't work. And just like that, you are making the wine glass speak or sing. Now, how does that work? Well, the friction from your finger, uh, you are slipping your finger across the wine glass, and that is making the wine glass vibrate vibrate, wiggle very quickly. When the wine glass vibrates, it also vibrates the air around it. When the air vibrates, that is a sound vibration and that is what you are hearing. So you are causing the wine glass to vibrate and the, uh, the wine glass is causing the air to vibrate and that is the note you are hearing. What note is that, I wonder? Well, you could use a tuner to find out you could bring your piano over here and test every single note until you find it. Or, I have this on hand. Recorder. Let's see. Let's see what that note is. Pretty close to a B. Okay, that's my B. If I need to play a three note song, I need three notes. I need three glasses. Now, these glasses have different amounts of water in them. This has no water, this has some water, and this has the most water. Make a prediction right now. Which one do you think is going to be the highest pitch? Which one do you think is going to be the lowest pitch? And why? Think about it. Make your prediction in your head or tell it to a family member. And let's see if you were correct. Let's see if this one is going to be the highest and this one's going to be the lowest or maybe this one's going to be the highest and this one's going to be the lowest or hey, who knows? Maybe this one's going to be the highest. Let's find out. Getting a finger wet and let's test these wine glasses. So, were you right? Was your prediction correct about which one was highest and which one was lowest? I knew the answer because I have already tuned these. In fact, I know exactly what these notes are. This one is B, this one is A, and this one is G. But how did I get here? Let me show you. These wine glasses are about the same shape and same size, so they make approximately the same note when played if they're both empty. But if I want to change one of the notes, I need to add water to it. And as we just saw, a wine glass with more water makes a lower note. So this is B, and if I want A, I need to add some water. Now, I haven't measured exactly how much water I need, so I'm just going to go by trial and error. Let's see if that's, if that is an A. Mmm. Close, but not quite. This is the wine glass note. That's the recorder note. 
the wine glass is a little sharp, a little too high, so that means I'm going to add a little bit more water. Still a little too sharp. Testing it with my recorder. Oh, there we go, that's pretty close. A. Okay, that'll do. We have our B, A, and same process for G, adding enough water until it matches our note on our recorder, approximately. Once you have your three wine glasses tuned, then you can play any three note song you played on the recorder on your wine glasses. Let's try it out. Let's play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's play hot cross buns. Get your finger wet. Maybe you're having trouble playing the wine glass with your finger? It takes some practice, but if you're really having a hard time, you can also play it in a different way. You can hit each wine glass gently. We don't want any broken glass. You can hit them with, uh, I like to use a chopstick, but you could also use a pencil. And that gives you the same note. Two ways to play this wonderful instrument. Maybe you can make up your own songs. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye everyone! <laughs>